welcome to a box Black gaming video where today we are playing a game called how to cope with boredom and loneliness a guide for the isolated so it's a game about like a documentary about or something like that i don't know i think it will explain it so let's just start okay instructions how to make a documentary yeah it's about a documentary or making it at least uh, you're Nigel Wimble, hard-hitting BVTV documentary filmmaker. You are at 23 Millbury, close to finish filming the final episode of your award-winning series, How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, a guide for the isolated. You have to talk with Harold, a 43-year-old man who has been grounded through his bedroom for over 30 years. Since his mother, Margaret, doesn't want you here, you only have enough time to talk about three topics. Okay. Carefully choose three items of interest from Harold's room to learn how he copes with boredom and loneliness. Every item tells a story, but not every story is relevant or good. Confirm your selections by interacting with the door, then watch the documentary unfold, good or bad. Your show will be rated at the end. Enjoy! Okay. So... I can move now, at least that's good. Um, so let's see. There's lots of things that's. I thought he was 43 or something, but he's been grounded for 30 years. That's kind of bad. Um, okay. Are you his mom, mummy? Are you mummy? Let's talk to mummy. How long she will punish Harold for? I don't like the way you're looking at me. What? Harold doesn't need a father. <sighs> okay, very, very, uh... I don't know. I don't like this person. She says, I don't like the way you're looking at me. Look at you! What is that face? That's scary. It's like Freddy Krueger the mum. Uh, or something like that, I don't know. Okay, let's... No, let's not do the... Okay, I can't... Oh, yeah, I can. There's a rabbit. That's a... That's not a rabbit. That's definitely not a rabbit. That's a mouse. Or... Or... I don't know. What, what is that? That's not a rabbit. Trust me, that's not a rabbit. Apparently, it's a rabbit. Okay, so there's a rabbit, a telescope, a truck, a, a clock, there's a margaret, fish tanks... B poster, TV, papers, guitar, and a bed, and then Harold himself. Let's talk to Harold himself. A curious man in a curious situation. Is this going to take long? Yes, it will. I'm doing a documentary about your room, and you've been here for 30 min 30 years, not 30 minutes, 30 years. Or something like that, so, yeah. It will take long, but it's okay. You're used to it, aren't you? You are. Okay, that's good. Let's look at the rabbit, because it's a mouse, I swear. Okay, this oversized cuddly toy looks like it's grown old with Harold. I bet a story about these two growing up could pull a heartstring. Wait, what are those stains? Potential soundbite. Harold and his co-prisoner, an overstuffed rabbit, have been through hell, but at least each had each other to ease the loneliness. Kevin's my only friend now, aside from mother of course. Your mum's a friend? She has been keeping you in this stupid bedroom with stupid things for 30 years. And you don't even have like a modem. So, uh, or maybe it's there somewhere? No, that's a fish tank. How do you connect your TV and stuff anyway? There's no actual cord. Let's just look at the TV. A modern TV. I'm surprised his mother allows him to watch television. Potential soundbite. For the isolated idiot, watching television is an escapism we all take for He's granted. allowed this on no later than 8pm. Oh. Well. Okay. I'm going to choose the TV because, I don't know, sounds good. And no, it won't make a great interview. I'm gonna choose the rabbit, definitely, because it's a mouse. And I'm gonna also choose 
the git. No. It's too normal. Let's do. Um. I don't know. A f bed. Let's do the bed. A 42 year old man sleeps in a racing car bed. This would make an interesting topic for discussion. Potential soundbite. You can imagine Harold dreaming of driving away from here. Beautiful. Harold loves cars and sleeping. Okay. It only makes sense to combine his passions. He hasn't got tons of space in here, you know. Well, obviously, you don't let him out. Like, you could have literally... <sighs> She's a mean, mean person, you know that? You're very mean. But I'm going to choose the bed and see what happens. This will make a great interview. It will. It, I don't think it will. Okay, let's do it. I wonder what happens. Okay. Okay. How to cope with boredom and loneliness. A guide for the isolated. Oh, jeez. Tonight at 9 on BBTV, we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard-hitting docuseries, How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness. A guide for the isolated. Yes, oh, I should move this out of the way. In tonight's episode, Nigel way. looks at a special case where a man has been grounded to his bedroom for over 33 years. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. Hello. Well, Harold always has been a naughty boy. He has? He was quite out of hand, you know. He was? I've only got one nice picture of him, and even that he's pissing on the cat. <laughs> really? What? Oh, he, he actually is pissing on... He actually and has a I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behaviour seemed to stop. He was wearing the same clothes. So I've kept see? him up there permanently. I had a look around Harold's room to see what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. For the isolated idiot, watching television is an escapism we all take for granted. He actually said it. My mother treated me to a modern television last year. Wow. She says if I'm good this year, she will give me the plug for an extra ten minutes. Wait, really? But you haven't been good, have you, Harold? Tell the man about the carrot you stuck up your nose. <coughs> I told you not to smuggle food in here for Kevin. Kevin, what did you do? Oh. Harold and his cohabitor, oh. an overstuffed rabbit, have been through hell together. They have. But at least they had each other to ease the loneliness. Uh huh. Yes, Kevin is a dear friend. We've we've become rather close over these past few years, and perhaps more than just friends at this stage. Oh no. What do you mean by that, Harold? Oh no. Well, Kevin has needs, and well, I have needs too. Oh great. I'm forever sewing that hole back up. We saw this kind of thing go on in our prison episode, so I'm not surprised to see it happening here too. Oh, duh. Whether this arrangement is mutual, we will never know. Try and keep it PG, everybody. As Kevin has decided to remain quiet during the making of this movie. Uh-huh. Harold still has the plastic racing car bed he had as a child. You can imagine Harold dreaming of driving away from this isolated reality. Well, I, I always had a passion for racing as a child, and I suppose that passion never left me. Now it's nice to keep hold of the bed, really. I mean, it doesn't happen very often nowadays, but I'll sometimes sit there and pretend I'm Jensen Button for, well, hours at a time, really. Uh-huh. On, on your racing car plastic bed. My time bed. with Harold has come to an end. Sad. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. But until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. Yay. I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. G good night. Join us next week as I investigate cows, cows? and why so many stomachs. <laughs> 9 p.m. Wednesday night on BBTV. How how is this show an award-winning? Oh, okay, bad documentary meta crisis score. Bad. Some things. He should be happy with his television switched off. He doesn't need. He doesn't have to watch this drivel. Four out of ten. That's not nice. Don't say that. Disgusting. My children could have walked in. Five out of ten. Angry mother weekly. 
Well, it's not my fault Kevin was there. Okay, I wanted to make it PG too, but you know, can't do that because of Kevin. Stuff you, Kevin. I laughed so hard I shit milk. 8 out of 10, Total Car Magazine. How can you... <sighs> You, you lo- I don't even know. Let's just retry. Okay, let's go. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. I don't like Kevin anymore. I used to like Kevin, but now I don't. Yep, we've seen this part. Yep, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. We can skip this part because Harold is having... Kevin! I don't like you, Kevin. Every item tells a story. Kevin did not tell a story he went for the physical that sounded really bad okay i'm just gonna stop talking about kevin now because i don't like kevin kevin stuff you let's choose let's do the telescope what happens with the telescope harold's only view to the large world larger world is through the telescope it breaks your heart hopefully potential soundbite with an eye in the sky you can sometimes forget where your feet are brilliant Mold from 94 is rather slender. It is. Well, I'm going to choose the telescope because it sounds good. I'm going to also choose maybe the guitar. How long has Harold been playing guitar? What if I've discovered a virtuoso? It looks it's used, been used well. Potential soundbite. Music can take you to places you only your ears can see. The guitar, Harold's vessel, the guitar. Mother says I sing like a dog. Howling in agony. <clears throat> That's nice. I think it said the guitar takes. It's a vessel. I don't know. We'll see in the documentary anyway, so. I'm gonna choose the guitar because I don't read it. It's so fast. If I stuff up once, it's just gonna do everything else. And then I'm gonna choose. Uh. Papers? No. Fish tank? No. Oh, this is fish tank. What? What's a fish tank? An aquarium. Pet fish, like Harold, are prisoners to the environment. Wow, I can e draw a great something. Potential soundbite. Like the fish, Harold is swimming in a sea of isolation. Yeah, I love Harold's it. Harold's father was never there, so I called him a fish. Great. That makes sense. Harold's father wasn't there. Let's just get a fish. Okay, we're gonna put that in there as well. And we're going to watch an interview. How to cope with watermelon loneliness. A guide for the isolated. Yes, I agree. Tonight at nine on BBTV, we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard-hitting docu-series, oh, How to Cope with Board. saw this already. Skip in tonight to the part where we, where we, Watch. Well, I don't care about him quite. pissing in the, on the cat. Yes, pissing on the cat. Wow, look at that. In the end, poor cat. So I've kept him up there permanently. Yeah, there's stuff in there. Okay. I had a look around Harold's room to see what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from Indeed, 33 yes. years of isolation. Mm -hmm. With an eye in the sky, you can sometimes forget where your feet are. Yeah. For Harold, he never forgets where his feet are, but still has sights on the stars. He does. This old telescope has got me through many an afternoon. I mean, sometimes I'll pretend I'm a World War II sniper and people at the bus stop are advancing Germans. Great. They wouldn't stand a chance if it was a real sniper rifle, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. They could try taking cover, but I'm pretty sure the bullets would go straight through the bus shelter. It will. Or maybe it won't, I don't know. Bloodbath. Why are you so just... Music can take you to places only your ears can see. Mm -hmm. The guitar is Harold's vessel to unseen worlds. And That's he what I couldn't read. is the captain. Uh. If mother allows it, I, I would like to play you a new piece I've been working on entitled... Plastic race car bed. Really? We. Oh. 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 Harold looks so happy. Here we are. Oh, sitting in my car. My little plastic car. Yes, here we are. 
Oh, oh. Papa, my little bus they go yeah. down the little road and I'll sing this song. Yeah. Old hot tar, melt in my car, these tires are made for asphalt roads. This is great. Encore! Encore! Not really. Not, don't, don't play it again. Yeah, okay, thank you. That was kind of good, but not really. No, it wasn't You can that lose good. hours to the peace and tranquility of a well-maintained aquarium. Mm-hmm. Like the fish, everyone is swimming in a sea of isolation. Oh, that sounds good. Yes, I, uh, I sometimes look at the fish tank as if it is my bedroom and I am mother. <coughs> but then I felt it wasn't fair to keep the fish isolated like me, so I set it free. Mm -hmm. What did you do with the fish? Well, I took it to school to release him to the nearby brook. But by the time I had got there, it had dried out in my pocket. Oh, so it died? You killed the fish? My time Harold has come to That's end. what your mom's gonna I hope do. One day he will find freedom and live a full life. But until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. See, well, I think. Oh, Nigel, Shut you? up. Shut up, good Nigel. Night. Okay, good night. Yeah, Join cows. I know. 9 p.m. Wednesday night. Yep, okay, great. You know, regular. I use my telescope the exact same way. Amazing show, Nigel. 10 out of 10. Thank you. 10 out of 10. That's pretty good. Huh, okay. Um, I think that he's his mom's going to feel sorry for Harold. He's going to let Harold out. And then he's going to get hit by a bus and die. Or something like that. Like Just like the fish. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because he's not ready. He's been in his bedroom for 30 years. That's crazy very poignant moment when he pulled out the guitar 10 out of 10 john from saint helens thanks john nice what a nice john he is what about the other one he murdered a fish and he put this man on television three out of ten vegan monster hey it's not my fault that the fish couldn't breathe oxygen okay like he it was harold's fault not really but Actually, it was. Oh! It's the song! Yes! Encore! It worked! Okay, I'm bored. Let's just try it again. Stuff you, Harold. Okay. Oh, why does it play this whole introduction all the time? God dang it. Just skip it. Just. Yep, Nigel Wimbly or Wibbly or Wapley or. What is my name? I don't know. But. I know what exactly I'm going to choose. Not Kevin. Stuff you, Kevin. I don't like you. Bees. Yeah, let's choose. How about the bee poster? What is, what's the bee poster? Boris the Special Bee came out in 1983. It is the last movie Harold left the house to see. Potential soundbite. For some, movies are an escape from reality. For Harold, this reality is like a movie. A terrible movie. Mother says I'm special, like Boris. She does. But does she mean it in a good way? I don't know. But I'm going to put it in my documentaries because I don't know. I'm, a, I'm that kind of guy. Okay, let's choose a truck, maybe? An old wooden toy truck. Maybe Harold's father was a lorry driver. Maybe I can ask to trigger a painful mo memory. A poorly carved toy truck serves as a reminder of an absent father. Where sometimes in life, Rose equals, Mommy, when's Daddy coming home? Oh, I would never play for that. After everything your father did for you. <laughs> well, you haven't done much to Harold. Except for trap him in a big room full of a rabbit. Kevin. Stuff you, Kevin. I hate Kevin so much. But I'm gonna put the truck in there. And... What didn't I do? I didn't do the clock. I didn't do... TV. I'm gonna do... Ah, I did the TV. I think. I'm gonna do papers. What, what's papers? Is it drawing? This looks like some kind of film script. Has Harold been writing a movie? This could be gold. It could be. Potential soundbite. With Hollywood full of deranted idiots, does Harold hope there's room for one more? 
Ha, huh, of course there is, I'm on fire. I like to write erotic dramas set in science fiction futuristic landscapes. Uh-huh. Set in scientific futuristic landscapes. I'm gonna choose you and I'm gonna see what happens. I hope, please, it don't make it like the worst thing in the world. I hope it's not. I don't even care right now. How to cope with boredom and loneliness. A guide for the isolated. We know. We've been through this again and again and tonight. again and again and in again tonight? and again. In tonight's. Yep. In tonight's. Will in tonight's. Will Harrod. He was quiet. Cats. Pissing on the cat. We, oh, yep. There we. There it is. She looks so young. In the end, I sent him to his Look how different it is. So I've kept but him up cares? there permanently. Mm-hmm. Okay. I had a look see. around Harold's room to see what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. This could be so good and so bad at the same time. I notice a poster for an old children's movie. For some, Boris. movies are an escape from reality. Boris? For Harold, his reality is like a movie. A terrible movie. Oh, great. Oh, I did I this, I love getting I? lost in a good movie. I did but do I think it. Boris the special Shoot. Bit was the last time I did get lost in a movie. I did do it, didn't I? I remember it like yesterday. Oh well. It was the last time Mother rewarded me for good behaviour. Wow. Boris used to say, Oh, behave. Get it? Behave. No, I didn't watch it. Behave. It was awfully really? funny when Mother used to tell me to behave, and I'd be told, Oh, behave, Mother. Really? Wow, that's just great. Yes, oh. you did, you cheeky little shit. <laughs> that mother would put you over her knee, but you didn't tell the man that, did you? <laughs> the poorly carved toy truck Great. serves as a reminder of an absent father. Where sometimes life on the road equals, Mummy, when's Daddy coming home? That's just, that's sad. Harold's father has been absent for most of his life. Oh, no. Mostly owing to the fact that he's dead. Oh, okay. He was involved in a massive collision, resulted in 52 deaths. Oh my, what? Father made me this truck himself. He said he used to work on it while he was on long journeys. Oh. The police said he was whittling the last piece when his truck collided with the school bus. Oh no! A school, really? Oh, I people are dead. Play Harold had been oh working. no. This is with so- Hollywood full of deranged idiots. <laughs> Maybe Harold hopes there's room for one more. He decided to read me some lines. She ran her slightly damp tentacle across his cheek Ew. as he gazed longingly into her compound eyes. Ew. I don't care that you tried to bite my head off during coitus. What the I hell? You, Sheila. What the hell? Run away to Planet Vargon with me, please. I love you too, Brad, but my father. Let me talk to him. He'll understand. Talk, you mean kill? Now come here and kiss me. Oh. Sheila passionately kisses Brad with her four mouths. Oh. Brad oh. slowly strokes her. Oh. That will do now, Harold. You're a bloody pervert. Thank you, Margaret. She actually did something good for Harold us. Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a uh -oh, full sneeze life. Uh-oh, sneeze, Sneeze. But until nope. then, he will hold continue it, hold it. to look for ways okay, to cope with... Hold it, hold it. Nope, nope. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> Sneeze! Shut up cows Good and night. stuff. Good night. Next Good. time I'll talk about cows Good. on BBTV. Goodbye. Was it good? Good! Yes! Yes! I wish their mother would behave. Touching stuff. 7 out of 10. Simon from Bassingstoke. How is be? That's even worse than my puns. And my puns are really, 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 really bad. Like, terrible. Like, if you have bad then and then there's worse then then there's worst my puns are like 10,000 times higher than the worst if you know what I'm talking about yeah great yet another depressing show on TV I love them TV time 8 out of 10 thanks TV time that screenplay sounded hot when's part 2 coming out sci-fi said what is wrong with you people I can't I don't even know, okay? Critic score is good, so I guess it's very good for me. 
See? Yes, Harold keeps in while I talk. So yeah, that has been, that has been How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, a guide for the isolated. Thank you so much for watching this video. See, I got good because I know this stuff. I know better than Nigel Wimbley Wimble McSkirmish or whatever his name is. Because I am, you know what I am? I am a bored and lonely guy without any friends. I'm not trapped in my own bedroom. I can go out anytime I want, but there's no need because I don't have friends. Exactly, mate. So I know this stuff. And that's why I got a really good final episode of How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness. And thank you for watching this documentary. If you enjoyed it, please put, get, get a like button on the forums to support the cow episode that I'm going to do. But, yeah. Wonder why they have so many stomachs. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!